Happy New Year. So, uh, yeah, I got I got a pretty big score the other day, and uh, I knew it was coming, but uh, didn't expect it to be as as big as it was. And I picked it up on my trailer, and I guess you could have a look. See, look at that baby. That is a massive tank. Luckily, it's fiberglass because it never would have worked on this trailer. As it is, the trailer's bowing pretty good. I think it probably weighs about 3,000 pounds. That's my guess. It's 7 feet in diameter and 18 feet long. They're taking it out of a plant. It's the same place I got my conveyors that I'm using for the new biochar machine. Which I don't even know if I've showed you that, but we'll get to that at some point. This is going to be used for storing water that I'm going to pump through a circulation loop and through a heat exchanger on the biochar machine that will use waste heat to heat the water in here. It's a huge tank. I'm going to have to build a building around it. I'm going to lay it on its, on its end. It's supposed to be standing up, but I'm going to build cradles that uh, allow it to lay down like that. That way I don't have to build a tall building. I can just build a long one. And it'll be centrally located here and the plan eventually is to build a install circulation loops to each building that I can pump out of this tank and hopefully I can get the water up 150, 160 degrees, something like that. I don't know if I can. That's the, the plan and then I can use then air to liquid heat exchangers, liquid to air heat exchangers in all the buildings to heat it, including the greenhouse, which would be sweet. And basically the biochar machine is going to go all the time, heat the water and it's it's free heat. I took a picture the other day when I when I had it on the trailer and realized it looks like a giant cigarette butt. I'll show you that picture right now. Just want to share that with you. I'm pretty excited about it. Since say it was it's bigger than it needs to be. I don't need something that big, but since it was free. I could buy a tank maybe half that size for uh, 600 to 1,000 bucks, which is a lot more than free. So we're gonna make this work. It will work. I just want to say, <clears throat> look at that nesting job. It's not exactly ideal. The rail hit the back of the truck a couple times. Not always on the road, but when I was going through the drive -th driveway. And it was okay, slid it back a little bit, but the, the conveyor was good. No conflict. Now I'm going to cut all the railing off. Cut the railing off so that all is left is this chunk of platform. With the railing, I think it'll be too heavy. Now all I gotta do is cut right here on both sides and let this platform drop off.
It's shop time again. The project, the project that I've been talking about. I talked about once. This is it. This is this is the first part of it. This is, isn't actually the unit itself. This is the preheat unit. It's a biochar oven, a continuous feed, which means there's a conveyor. It's going to send wood chips in. It's going to do its thing. And there's a conveyor. It's going to send wood chips out. It's going to send char out. Sorry. And it's going to cook in that chamber. Now this is the preheat unit, which is going to sit on top and. These two conveyors are going to go in these two slots. Chips will go in one conveyor, go all the way down, drop into the second one, come all the way across, and then drop into the actual unit. Preheat unit. It'll drive all the water out. So tonight, I think I've got all this stuff cut. Hopefully it's to the right size. The plan is, and the goal, is to get both of these conveyors fed into these places. The top one should be fairly easy. The bottom one, we're going to have to feed it all the way in through that hole and stick it out the other end. It's going to be tough. Tough at, le at best. here this is all high so I'm gonna have to figure that out I'll probably cut this off or something I don't know I gotta fix that so the preheat unit this is where the chute will be that goes down into the main chamber this will all be sealed up and insulated and uh, it'll heat these two conveyors as the wood chips go through they'll get all heated hopefully drive off some of the moisture, then they'll drop into the main chamber, which will be another one of these cabinets right below this, and it'll do the cooking. This is, this is sweet. Time to unload this bad boy back here behind the house, but it kind of is back here out of the way. I don't ever do anything back here, so it's nice. It won't bother me. I don't know when I'm going to get around to actually using this for what it's supposed to be for. So this will be a good place for it to sit.